Elton John joins call for boycott of Brunei-owned hotels, Singer follows George Clooney in protest at Sultanate's death penalty for gay sex and adultery. Here's a summary of the article. Elton John has joined George Clooney in calling for a boycott of nine Brunei-owned hotels over the Sultanate's new death penalty laws for gay sex and adultery. I commend my friend, George Clooney, for taking a stand against the anti-gay discrimination and bigotry taking place in the nation of Brunei, a place where gay people are brutalized, or worse, by boycotting the Sultan's hotels, the singer wrote on his Twitter page late on Saturday. The 72-year-old, a veteran gay rights campaigner, said his heart went out to staff at the hotels, but that we must send a message, however we can, that such treatment is unacceptable. The nine hotels mentioned by Clooney, in the US, Britain, France and Italy, include London's exclusive Dorchester and the Beverly Hills Hotel in Los Angeles. Clooney called for the boycott earlier this week, saying, Every single time we stay at or take meetings at or dine at any of these nine hotels, we are putting money directly into the pockets of men who choose to stone and whip to death their own citizens for being gay or accused of adultery. Brunei is an absolute monarchy, which has been ruled for 51 years by Sultan Hassanal Bolkiah. Brunei first announced the measures in 2013, but implementation has been delayed as officials worked out the practical details, and in the face of opposition by rights groups. This post received a score of 35,016, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Is there a list of Brunei-owned businesses? I am reasonably certain I have been boycotting them my whole life but want to be sure. The main ones I know are, the Dorchester, UK 45 Park Lane, UK, Coworth Park, UK, the Beverly Hills Hotel, LA, Hotel Bel Air, LA, La Maurice, Paris, Hotel Plaza Athene, Paris, Hotel Eden, Rome, Hotel Principe di Savoia, Milan. I have successfully boycotted them my whole life. Yeah this is really a boycott for rich and famous people. Well celebrities have to rely on their brand to keep them famous and rich, so if anything the call for boycott will be more effective since there are fewer people who should be easier to convince. Speaking to you from Los Angeles right now. Aside from some celebrities most of the old rich people here won't give a shit. At one point protesters were projecting onto the side of the Beverly Hills Hotel images of the beheadings at the hands of the Sultanese. People were still valeting their cars right under it on their way into the hotel like it was nothing. I won't cancel a stay because of something like that, however I'd stay in another hotel on my next stay. Edit, for those who care, deleted comment said. Because I don't want to waste money I wouldn't get back anyway. This. Not worth the hassle to them to rebook or cancel the room but the next time they would likely look for another option that doesn't have all this shit going on. If you're still in your full refund period and other more or less equitable options are available I'd say there is some moral imperative to change bookings. There is no economic harm or loss which you will incur, only taking an hour of free time. Here is the list of the nine hotels. The Dorchester, London. 45 Park Lane, London. Coworth Park, UK. The Beverly Hills Hotel, Beverly Hills. Hotel Bel Air, Los Angeles. Lemuris, Paris. Hotel Plaza Athene, Paris. Hotel Eden, Rome. Hotel Principe di Savoia, Milan. Opening square bracket. Oh shit I visit those places all the time, s. I never knew much about Brunei, other than the Sultan having an absolutely obscene car collection. Obviously this taints my view of the man. I learned long ago that cars can't make you cool. The only thing I know about Brunei is that it's one of the three countries on earth that don't even claim to be a democracy. I'm guessing the other two are Saudi Arabia and the Vatican, though there apparently could be a few others depending on the definition. Saudi was one of the other two, I can't remember what the last one was, possibly Bhutan. I don't count the Vatican since it's not a real country, as in, zero permanent citizens. Not sure why the UA countries wasn't on the list I saw. Maybe something changed, or maybe it was just shorter to make it sound more extreme smiley face. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.